What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Man City and Wolves at the Etihad. Absolutely incredible result and um, probably one of the best results of our season. I thought it was a turning point last week against Watford, a 2-0 win to get us off the mark in the Premier League and I think the win in Istanbul on Thursday night only helped matters with that 1-0 win in the group stage as um, we make it three wins on the bounce in all competitions with a 2-0 win in the Etihad I mean it's an, it's an absolute unbelievable um, defensive display from start to finish I mean it's it's so so difficult to defend against Manchester City when they're coming at you because and they're literally coming at you left, right and centre, um, peppering you with attacks because their, their quality going forward is, is absolutely immense. That could be one of the biggest um, understatements of the century. We, we, we did so well defensively considering we had Aguero, Mares, um, Rodri, um, Jesus, um, the likes uh, of those. Um, for Man City coming at us left, right and centre. But we were we were productive with our counter attacks. And I think the thing that let Man City down uh, the most was they were having so much of the ball and creating so many attacks, uh, particularly towards the end of the game, but they they couldn't make use of it. And I think that's that's what won us the game because we did. We had few attacks in the game, as you would expect um, against a team like Manchester City, especially away from home as well. It's going to be even tougher um, to attack. But we made a use of it. We made use uh, of our of our bursts on the ball, and um, we made it count uh, towards the latter stages of the game. Um, I guess the the first half was more about uh, was more about holding in there, like like against Besiktas, trying to uh, hold in there and defend well, which we did to um, an extreme extent. Stonewall defensive display uh, in the first half that um, really frustrated Manchester City and um, it showed as, as the game wore on. Uh, it really showed as uh, we really frustrated Manchester City um, as our defence our defence was incredibly resilient and um, our, our defensive display was re was eventually rewarded uh, re uh, at the end of the game with all three points and um, we got that uh, through two uh, Adama Traore goals who y you wouldn't expect him really um, talking about last season you wouldn't really expect him uh, to be um, giving us the three points Considering he's uh, he's only before uh, before this game he only had scored once before uh, for us before, uh, and that was way back in September last season, a long long time ago against West Ham. But since the start of this season, especially in the Europa League, he's really uh, he, he's really come to life and really improved on that season. You know, last season he was he was um, mostly known as the pace merchant. Bags and bags of pace, but um, but that that pace was the only thing he had. He was a one-trick pony. He only had pace. Had a bit of skill uh, to beat defenders, but now he's actually putting that pace to some use to to beat those defenders and also um, create chances. And um, he's he's created a lot of chances uh, for us so far this season, which is a real improvement for him. A real real improvement. Well, you could say if it wasn't for his uh, improvement, uh, he, he wouldn't have won us the game. Those chances that he took today, he most likely wouldn't have took last season. Two absolutely sublime finishes as well. Huge, huge pressure because, um, you know, you, you don't get many chances against teams like Manchester City. He coolly swat, uh, slotted um, past um, Edison twice. Uh, to give us all three points at the Etihad. 
um, and an absolutely incredible win. And this week could not get any better. Starting off with the, our first Premier League win of the season last Saturday um, against Watford. That kick started it all, followed up by winning Istanbul against Besiktas to give us our first win in the Europa League. And now followed up by our second win in the Premier League against the reigning champions Manchester City. A point would have been an incredible result. But to get all three is absolutely unheard of. And especially against the reigning champions away from home. I mean, that's absolutely unheard of and um, an absolutely incredible result. Hopefully, we can, uh, we can uh, follow that up um, with a few more wins. Uh, we've got a, a couple of nice games. Oh, obviously, um, nothing's for certain. Uh, we've got a couple of... Um, not uh, nice, nicer fixtures uh, compared to a fixture against Manchester City um, next after the international break at home uh, to Southampton and we've also got an away trip to Newcastle um, in there as well I cannot believe um, cannot believe what, what has happened today and uh, hopefully there's many more uh, great away days to come if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you um, after the international break with a review uh, of the Southampton game. Until then, goodbye guys!